Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And we got another figure from Transformers. Energonic Niter. Bumblebee! Bumblebee in the house! Yeah. And this is my second Volkswagen Bug Bumblebee. Well, my third if I include the Studio Series. But here he is next to my original Bumblebee. They both roll. Really nice. But before we transform this figure on camera, we're going to show off the gimmick. And yes, just like the other one, there is an Energonic Niter gimmick. We're going to... Peg this in. The trick is getting this part to stay connected. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you pain in the neck. Stay transformed for me. And then we hit the switch. And apparently it's not wanting to stay in properly. Yeah. Apparently it's not one to stay in, so I'm having a little bit of fuss and trouble with the gimmick. But I will get this thing rolling. Or maybe I have it... Oh, I have it inside... Wrong side in. No wonder it won't go off. And we're supposed to make sure this thing is secured in there. Come on. Come on. There we go. And we're pushing this in. Sorry if there's a lot of fussing with mine, but it rolls. Sorry if I repeated a lot. But yeah, he rolls. And that's the gimmick for this figure. And these little side piece pieces that they include inside the wheel hubcap. Not hubcap, but the siding. Acts as like boosters if you want to have it as boosters but that's all there is to say for vehicle mode let's get down to transformation and like i like to do a lot i start from bottom to top with transformation fold down the feet split them out and straighten out the legs and there we got the legs all done. Going to disconnect these arms from the side. Fold them down like so. Flip down the hands and flip up the Bumblebee robot mode head. And that is a good looking Bumblebee. This is almost as good as the Studio Series Bumblebee. Which, by the way, is my number one favorite Bumblebee. But he can hold the igniter as a weapon if you wanted it to. Me, I just don't like it. So I'm just going to put it off to the side. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons. Yes, a comparison with my first Energonic Igniter Bumblebee. And I'm going to tell you which is better and which is the better Energonic Niter Bumblebee. As soon as I get him transformed off camera. And I've memorized this one from memory with transformation. But here he is next to his other self. And this one looks better than this one for actually looking like he came right out of the Bumblebee movie. And he's just as good looking as Studio Series Bumblebee. Would I recommend this if you're a Bumblebee movie fan? Yes, this guy is worth it if you can find him for less 
than 30 bucks. I got this guy from Steel City Con for about, I think about $5. It's a Bumblebee movie, movie, big scale Energonic Nighter worth adding to your collection. Sorry if I paused and got confused for a second. And yes, he is worth adding to your collection. He will look good right beside your Studio Series figure. And that's all there is to say for this comparison. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'm sorry for all the correction moments. I guess my autism is really getting confused today a lot because my head is getting very confused now we're moving on and rock on and rock out